Hello everyone, how are you? This is the Dainty Philippine Adventures and today we'll go to a very classic, classy and beautiful place. Taka! Please continue to support my channel by hitting like, subscribe and the notification bell. And of course, don't forget to share! Today, I'll show you how to get to Daka. There are two ways that I know how to get there. First is to take an hour and 40 minute flight from Manila International Airport to Dipolog City. And from there, there will be a 30 minute drive to get to Daka Resort. And the second option, which we took since this is an adventure, is to have an hour 30 minute flight from Manila International Airport to Dumaguete Airport. And that cost me 3,000 Philippine pesos, that's 55 US dollars. Then from there, we will hop into a tricycle and have a 5-minute drive to Dumaguete Port for 100 pesos, that's $2. And then from Dumaguete Port, we will travel for 3 hours to get to the Pitan Port with a ferry fare of 650 pesos, that's $12. And of course, from the port, we will travel for another 30 minutes by land to get to the Kak Resort. What an adventure, right? Come, let's see! Siyempre, dapat may plane ride at takeoff shot kasi kung lagi nyo akong napapanood, isa ito sa mga paborito kong parte ng adventure ko, ang takeoff. Kasi gustong gusto ko yung pakiramdam na ang lapit ko na sa mga ulap, sa araw. Kasi pag nasa baba ako, feeling ko ang hirap-hirap niyang abutin. Pero pag nandito na ako sa aeroplano at lumilipad na, parang feeling ko nasa ulap na rin ako. Sobrang saya ng pakiramdam. Ayan, nandito na tayo sa Dumaguete Airport. Tapos, pupunta tayo sa Dumaguete Port. Dito din sa Dumaguete Port, yung daan ng mga ferry na papunta sa Sikihor. So, sa susunod, pupunta din tayo doon. Pero ngayon, sa dapitan muna tayo pupunta. Tara! This is how the ferry looks like. It's big, clean. I can say this is fairly maintained. Bathroom is also clean, which is good. And this is the second time that I have traveled with vehicles in the boat. It is fun as always, and I'm getting used to it. Traveling to islands here in the Philippines, it, I think this, that's a common theme. Now, they offer economy class, which is located at the top of the boat. Premium economy is here, located in the middle. And of course, the best part, the snack bar. And of course, they also offer a business class at the far end of the boat. So we took the business class for the travel to be more comfortable. My tip for you in this adventure is to ensure that you know the trip schedules beforehand as they have already changed. Call them if you must to avoid wasting time as there are only two schedules, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So if you miss them, better luck next day. We're now here at the Pitan Port and was picked up by the resort's pickup service as part of the accommodation. 
medyo mahirap ang transportation dito kasi pag gagamitin nyo yung ino-offer ng resort, 2,000 siya o 37 dollars, one way pa lang. So, pagbalikan, 4,000 peso siya. So, mga 74 dollars, two way. Mas budget-friendly pag magpapatawag ka ng e-trike. Kasi yon 1,800 lang or 34 dollars, two way na. Kaya sulit. Uy, bayawak! Alam na alam mo na probinsya at medyo liblib ang lugar na to kasi may makikita na tayong mga ganyan na tumatawid sa kalsada. We're finally here! This is such a big and well-maintained place. You can get around either by walking or call a baggy to drive you around. Walking is better for me though. It's healthier. Dakak has several restaurants as well where you can choose from. All of them serve good and affordable food. They have their own bar where you can enjoy and hang out at night. They also have jet skis if you want to try it. It's good to roam walking around because of the huge trees preventing the sun's heat to penetrate your skin and enjoy the fresh air as well. Did you know that before we had Boracay, there was Dakak? This is one of the tourist attractions here in the Philippines back in the days. Despite this place being around for quite some time, you will still fall in love with this place. It seems so serene. It's good to relax here, detach from reality for a moment. What do you guys think? Hit me up through the comments box. And come, visit the beautiful islands of the Philippines and enjoy the hospitality of our people. The Cox Beach has a fine white sand. Water is cold for some reason despite the heat of the sun, so swimming is really enjoyable. For now, I will enjoy the water and the sun, and I'll see you in my next video!